Hello Internet. Today we're going to make a shoulder plane from a CNC router. The three pieces on the left are scrap pine to confirm the design shape. This piece is a fully functional plane made out of inexpensive poplar to confirm the full design. And here is that poplar prototype in operation. The main body of the actual plane will be made from babinga. Here we are milling a pocket. This is the first completed pocket on the top side of the Babinga. Here we are milling a second pocket on the reverse side. The big void in the middle is the blade bed set at 40 degrees. The two pockets in the Babinga will be filled by cheeks made from European beech being milled here. The cheeks needed some fine tuning to fit. Paste wax was applied to the blade bed area to handle inevitable squeeze out. Now the European beach cheeks are glued in. And here is the plane project after overnight clamping. Now back to the CNC router to route the final shape of the plane. Next, a quarter inch roundover bit is used in a router table to round over the square edges. Here the CNC cuts the wedges out of beach.
The shop joiner provides a flat surface for final sanding. Now for some testing. The blade is inserted from the bottom. Bevel is down. Be sure that you insert the plane so that the bevel is down as shown here. Insert the wedge and set it with a light tap. Tapping on the rear of the plane will retract the blade slightly. It takes some practice to get the blade set correctly. Blade is super sharp, so watch your fingers when doing this. Although not shown here, the blade can be advanced to take a heavier cut by tapping on the front of the plane. This plane is earmarked for a talented former apprentice of the shop. A traditional finish for wooden hand planes is boiled linseed oil. Three coats were applied. Here is the finished project. Thanks for watching.